home security systems cost quite a bit. Uh, and some of us just don't have the money to shell out, especially this time of the year where home invasions and home burglary is a lot higher than any other time of the year because of the holiday seasons, you know, people's gifts, people break into people's houses and steal their gifts and stuff. And, um, yeah, so we don't have the money to actually get a home security system, but what if you could turn your old smartphones that you have lying around into a home security camera? Well, that's what this app does right here. Okay. Uh, this app is called Alfred. It's pretty nice. Now, when you uh, first set it up, it's going to ask you two questions. Um, either A, if this smartphone is going to be the viewer or the camera. So as you guys can see right here, I have my Warp Elite set up as my camera. Uh, let me just slide to unlock real quick. And it's pretty much doing its thing right now, which is, you know, streaming video. It's connected on my home Wi-Fi. So I can place this anywhere. I can try and make it uh, inconspicuous in an area where it'll just like the angle will capture my entire bedroom. And then when I'm away from home, I can be in the viewer application. As you guys can see right here, um, you can have multiple rooms set up. So you can put like, you can have multiple phones connected, place each phone in a specific room. And then that way you can pretty much like watch your whole house. Um, as you guys can see, this camera is not connected. But this one is right now. This is the Warp Elite. So I know the Warp Elite is in my room. So I can pretty much click it to preview kind of what's going on. I do have the volume down because, you know, right now, since both devices are close to each other, there's like a massive amount of feedback. And uh, yeah, so I don't think you guys want to hear that right now. But there are several things you can do with the viewer app. Well, I shouldn't say it like that because it's one application. You just choose whether the phone's a viewer or um, the camera. So let's just say viewer mode. That's better. Um, there are several options you can do. So right now I'm getting a constant feed of what's going on. This bottom button right here with the camera, you can actually press and hold that. And it's going to record a clip that you could um, share. So let's do that right now. As you guys can see, it's beginning to record a clip. Let's do another two seconds. One, two. Okay. So now I have my clip. A little preview window is going to pop up. I can click that and I could replay uh, the stream. And you can see the stream is actually quite smooth. So there it is. And um, I can either share it to Facebook. I can create a link for people to download the video and watch. Or if I click these three dots here, um, no, there you go. Uh, I can share it to any one of these. I like either my email address, uh, Google Drive for safekeeping, Facebook. Google Plus, uh, Twitter, Snapchat. You guys get the gist of it. And uh, so here are all the um, the demo clips that I made testing this out. So anyway, let's go back and let's watch uh, the stream real quick. And um, let's let you guys know, this is still in beta. So there are about one or two kinks. This is probably like the only problem that I find with this app is when you actually record a clip and then you try to go back into the stream, it tends to um, just really kind of mess up. So we'll back out and we'll go back in. Okay, now everything's working. So as you guys saw, um, it showed the battery life of my camera. I don't have it on a charger, but normally I do. So then that way it doesn't run out of power. Now this button right here, the microphone button, if you see somebody in your house and say you want to spook them or whatever, um, you could do so. Just talk. Hello. It's actually feeding through my phone. You guys can hear the feedback there, but uh, yeah, so you can actually do that. Uh, a couple of other things you can do from the the viewer mode is you can switch it from landscape to uh, portrait mode. You can reverse the camera. So if I want to, you know, switch it out, make it. You guys can see it's uh, actually shooting at my roof right now, and switch it back to the rear camera. And it's only my desk. Also, it does have night vision. So let me turn off my lamp here on my desk. And then we will go ahead and turn on night vision, which uh, doesn't work all too well. You still need some sort of lighting. And uh, that's what this next tab here is for. My flash. Turn my flash on. And there you go. Now I got everything. 
So you do have night mode. You have some little bit of light there. It, it won't actually pick up everything like straight out in the dark. And you can activate your flash just by hitting the flashlight button. And that will stay on. So you guys can see uh, flashlights on. Turn it off. Off. Turn it back on. There it is. So, I mean, just some pretty cool stuff you can do with this. Um, basically, the whole idea of it is, you know, keeping an eye at home um, when you're not at home to make sure that there's, you know, no one in your house. And what's awesome, like I said, is that you can have multiple cameras all going off at once and you can just monitor each area. And besides the fact that you can use this as a home security system, it's also pretty cool. You can kind of use this like a, a, a video baby monitor. So say, you know, you, you have a new addition to the family, uh, baby boy, baby girl, you want to make sure everything's okay while you're downstairs, you know, doing the dishes or something. You're going to actually have one of your old smartphones uh, pointed at the bassinet or the crib, keeping an eye on the baby. And of course, you have audio to listen to it. So if the baby cries, you can hear it. You can hear it crying. Um, also, you know, just make sure that everything's copacetic. And as I said, this is a really cool, neat thing. There's so much things you can really do with this. Um, you can use this at home. You can use this at, you know, your place of business. Uh, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal app. I really dig this application. I definitely recommend this. Sure, there's a little slight kink when you're actually uh, recording a video. Uh, so you can capture a video and actually you have that for evidence or for whatever purpose. But, you know, in, in general, it does what it's supposed to do. It is supposed to, um, you know, basically monitor your home. So, I mean... It's doing that quite well. I truly love this love this application. I really do. I actually use it today, uh, going out and about with the family to celebrate my son's birthday. Um, he turned ten, and um, I just want to keep an eye on the house, so I set up different uh, my different smartphones around the house, and had them all on and connected to chargers so they wouldn't run out of battery, and uh, pretty much was just like watching my entire house. So. Cool stuff. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video, this demo of the application known as Alfred. It's completely free in the Play Store, which is also great. Yeah, it does have some ads on the top, but hey, you know what? No biggie. That's what it's supposed to do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by clicking that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you have not for future content like this. And let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions of this application. And uh, yeah, um, you'll see me in the next one.